Damn, Mike didn't mute. It's game time! Welcome, welcome everyone! We're back at it again in the Chow Gardens! Just hanging out and chilling with Chow. Today the gardens are gonna look a little different than what you might be expecting from Sonic Adventure 2. But, you know, that's just to add a little more variety to these Chow streams. I actually wanted to start streaming earlier today, but I was busy making muffins. Gluten-free muffins. And they are tasty, I can confirm. But yeah, enough about that. Y'all came here for chow. Yep, just chow in your typical SA2 garden. Hey, meeps. Ripley's believe it or not, this chow was born with an apple on their head. I've never seen what their face looks like. And I never shall. I bought hats like these. Don't feel like putting them on anyone though. Maybe I should find something for Doof to wear. They're looking a little bare. Oh, no, I'll let them finish their conversation first. Don't mind me, I'm just eavesdropping. There's number five. <laughs> yeah, you just found a ball. They sure do trip a lot when chasing that ball. Woo! Garden feels bare of fruit. I gotta fix that. 
Gotta feed my chows. Perfect. More perfect. Hey there, Savage Effect. Poison Crown. Why is why is the front so dark? Oh. I guess these things aren't finished yet. <laughs> A little weird to put unfinished hats in the mod, but oh well. Consume the flesh of the fruit. So how have you been doing, Savage Effect? Been having a good day so far? Pia woke up. Have a mint. Finished already? Oh no. Hungry chows are hungry. I need to buy more fruit. Wow, they finished at the same time. You've been doing good? Been streaming Destiny 2 and Halo... T and playing Halo Infinite? I've been doing good, too. I made some chocolate gluten-free muffins earlier and they are delicious. And now I'm streaming Chow, because I haven't streamed Chow in a while, and I just want to sit in the Chow Gardens and show off how cute my babies are. But today I changed up the Chow Gardens look a bit. Because I'm sure we were all getting a little sick of the SA2 Gardens. We wanted to see some SA1 Gardens. Give me the fruit. <clears throat> okay, good. That should hopefully be enough to tide everyone's stomachs over for a while. Rascal, how am I supposed to feed you when you're talking? Okay. Doof, I don't know if you actually, like, are finished eating or anything. Have a fruit. And now my real-life cats are leaving me. I can't stand that the chow are cuter than them. I'm sorry, kitty cats, it's true. <laughs> Sounds like you finished. Have some more. You fell asleep? Rude! What if your stomach is still empty? Doof, you seriously f Doof, how hungry did I leave you? <laughs> Y'all will let me know if the game's too loud or anything, right? Sometimes it's hard for me to tell, especially since SA2 is, like, unusually loud compared to other Steam games. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey! 
Finish your food. You okay? You okay, doof? Yeah. No, you already ate. You, you're, you're not hungry, okay? My goodness, Meep. My goodness. Seems fine to you? That's good, then. I guess I'm a little more worried about the sound now, because the music playing is the much louder SA1 chow theme. Whereas the SA2 chow themes tend to be a bit more quieter and calmer, so... Less of a bother if those are a bit too loud. But this one's got the blaring horns. <laughs> Goodness, this garden feels so bare with just five chow. Maybe I should have brought more. It's so big. Pia, that's rude! Just button into their conversation like that. Well, let's see if we can't find something fun for Doof to wear. The Master Crown. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, let's get Doof a wheel cap. Let's just buy more chow fruit, because why not? You can never have too much chow fruit. Oh, not the TV. <laughs> I wonder if someone has a mod that makes the TV not play annoying sounds. Oh, <laughs> I love that on you. <laughs> You know, I'd much rather have a- Oh, you stopped playing. Shame, I would have loved to hear a little chow band going. That would have been funny if they altered it to have the lock be properly in place, because you, you can't enter the black market in this mod. Yeah. I like that they just locked the black market man in the black market. <laughs> Well, someone's gotta put that criminal away. Also, hi, Hunt. Can you imagine if they just do that to criminals? But yeah, let me, uh... Give my new shoutouts some tries. 
forgot I can do that now. He's robbing a bank? Quick, lock the bank! <laughs> that would be one way to handle it. Aw, they're sleeping together. You finally woke up! Food! You need to eat, you little rascal. Maybe I should turn off the level up jingle. That's... I knew you were hungry. So how's this day been treating you, Nate? Up! Oh. Up! Oh. There's no link, see the link, just couldn't click on it. Hmm. So the links aren't working? I guess that means I need to fix the code. Oh, they do work? They evolved! Like, I'm not sure if I try clicking on the links in my OBS if that's gonna mess up my OBS, so that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> they, they evolve and they immediately just dash off. Eat your food. I guess I should have tested the shoutouts a bit more. I'm just far too lazy for my own good. Doesn't seem linked to me on the chat compared to your stream bot. So it's linking to the to the it's it's linking to the wrong person? Did I type in the wrong name? Oh no. Did I misspell it? it doesn't look misspelled. I don't know what I did wrong. Sorry. Nate says it's fine. One person says it's fine. One person says it's not fine. I don't know who to believe. For you, the message is in all white, no blue to indicate a link. Well, for me, the links are in purple. I don't know what... I don't know how to fix that. Have it? I mean, maybe the links aren't highlighted, but are they still links at least? I don't know. I want to go to a different garden now. Shiny pink egg. Uh, sometimes it's so hard to exit when you just feel like jumping. Might be a phone thing? That could be. Phones do be weird like that.
Should be more than enough fruit for this garden. This is probably my favorite garden of the Sonic Adventure Gardens. Just... Man, it's so pretty. Although, it's also just full of big blocky collision things that get in the way everywhere, so that's kind of annoying. But, man, it's just so pretty. Kind of wish there were more gardens that looked this good. And the piano's in the middle of the lake for some reason. I don't know why. For Hunt's dreams and his does so... Well, I didn't, like, copy Link's- I didn't copy Hunt's code for how to do shoutouts, so it could be that the, the model I use just isn't as good as Nate's. <laughs> no, it's fine! But Savage said that when he looks at your channel, the links show up, but the links aren't showing up on mine! <laughs> Everybody's just taking a swim. Wah! Kinda hard to move around in this garden with the slopes. Oh no! Wasn't saying you did copy or otherwise. I just have no idea how bots work. Cause I mean, I I I wasn't saying you were accusing me of copying Nate's code. I was saying that um, because I didn't use the same code Nate did, that maybe that's why it's not working the same as Nate's. I wasn't saying anything about me being accused of copying. Just I don't know. I use I don't know what code. I don't know how Nate programmed his bot. Just, they're not programmed the same. I don't know. Getting all my chow out of the water just to see if they're hungry. Sorry, didn't mean anything. The chat is bad if I read wrong. I mean, it's not- <laughs> Let me look at the- It's- it's not just you. Like, I have bad reading comprehension, too. It's the internet. Nobody can read. Nobody can type. Nobody can do anything. Where's Tsukino? Tsukino, where are you? Okay, why are the, S the SADX gardens are so big? You fell asleep while eating? I am like missing a whole chow. Tsukino! Where'd you go, you little buddy? <laughs> there are five chow here. I just don't know where my silver chow went. Yes, I love you too, but where's your sibling? Where's Tsukino?
the Tsukino fall off of the map or something? Like, with the wonky collision, maybe? Okay, then maybe all I gotta do is just... Oh wait, there was Tsukino! Right at the very end, I found her. <gasps> Someone's evolving? Tsukino, is it you? I'm sure you'll be next soon, Crown. Ah! Let me see how you look. Cute. Now you're the only one who hasn't eaten yet. Come on. I knew you were hungry. finished, huh? Oh. <laughs> ah! Collision. just I must have disabled that code oh well I was trying to make myself invisible You found me. Oops, wrong button. Poor baby. <gasps> I knew Crown wouldn't, wouldn't be long after Tsukino. friends they're growing up yes I love you <laughs> it looks so shocked oh my god I almost jumped on you <laughs> you have the website up on the phone though seems impossible to type cuz reason 
Yeah, I hate typing things on the phone. The keyboard is so... At least the phone I have, just... Those touchscreen keyboards are so bad. I have a suspicion that you are getting hungry, Skittle. So eat. Calm down, Skittle. The food's not going anywhere. <laughs> A true rebel. Drawing graffiti in the middle of a pillar. Seeing Mark right next to Frisk, you think they would be the same color? That is so funny how they're swimming around each other like that, but. Frisk is just a normal old two tone normal chow, but Mark is actually a. Two tone sky blue chow, and it's just so amazing how similar they look. Despite not being the same color at all. Oh my god, they're just synchronized swimming. It's beautiful. They're just like, look, we look so similar. <laughs> god. Look at them go! Will they ever stop? Nobody knows! Oh my god, they've stopped. It was so beautiful to watch. I'm sad that it's over now. Dramatic pan up! Oh, and then you just immediately jump down. <laughs> you prankster. Everyone's just in the pool.
What an inconvenient place to put a tree just out in the middle of that island. Floaty is not supposed to be in the pool either. Do you actually have a watering can? Yeah, I didn't think so. How do you eat so much? There we go. <laughs> Stupid camera. Ugh. Come on, come on. Sometimes that code is just so finicky. Oh my god, the camera keeps getting stuck. Frisk stares into your soul. Hey there, sir, Rack Attack. Indeed, the Chow are go- Go! Oh my god! Oh my god! They're, they're go-going out of the map! <laughs> I thought the Chow was going to jump out of the map and <laughs> just fall into oblivion forever? I'm glad they didn't. But also, where are you going? 
Where are you going? There's nothing over there! Don't do it! No! Good old Sonic camera angles, yep. Well. <laughs> they fell into oblivion, alright! Oh, ciao. Are they drinking the juice? I, I guess so. Oh my god, they can swim back into the garden. So that's what happened to you last time when I couldn't find you. You swam- You, you fell out of the map and then you swam back in. That's crazy! You're crazy! This Chow has seen things! Well, the mod did warn, th warn that the map was still in beta. <laughs> This just looks wrong. <laughs> That's too close. You was wondering what race this is? Steam mod? Yeah, this is a... I, I, this is a mod for the... Steam version of Sonic Adventure 2. I have a bunch of mods installed. Like, obviously one of them is being able to play as Blaze. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. Yeah! She looks really good! She even does her little tornado spin when she jumps. And then I have a bunch of Chow mods that... You're gonna have to boot your game up? Sounds good. Yeah, like, I have mods that, get, that let Chow have new accessories, like hats. Which you can see on most of the Chow here. Crowns and stuff. And... You got some stacked chows? That I do. I see you you finally swam back sw you swam back into the regular map, Frisk. Obviously, I got a mod that puts the Sonic Adventure DX Gardens in Sonic Adventure 2. Lots of mods. This piano is not supposed to be in the water. I feel like going to check out a different garden now. Any fruit I can buy? So many fun hats. 
Is Blaze a skin over Sonic? Yes. Blaze is a, a skin for Sonic. Although there's also a feature to make her a skin over Amy, but it's it's she she's a Sonic skin. The Queen's crown. That's a fancy crown I gotta give to someone someday. I don't see any hats I'm gonna buy for my chow right now, though. The biggest garden! I've missed around in this garden a bit before, too, and I've noticed that the Chow have a little trouble figuring out where the pool is when they want to swim. They can't seem to understand that the pool is all around them. <laughs> seven uh, seven point eight uh, seven. Point eight out of ten, too much water. Here, eat some fruit. Let's see. It's one, two, three. This garden is so big, how am I gonna find the other chow? You can I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a chow making the I want to go for a swim noise over and over and over again. They can't find the water. There's too much water and yet they cannot find it. Okay, it was you making the sound. I thought so, Tootie. Uh, I can't pick up the fruit! How about instead of going for a swim, you eat- Okay, no. <laughs> slopes. Sonic and slopes. Okay. Here's the water. There you go. Oh, when did you wake up? You just look mortified. Did you eat all your fruit? I couldn't exactly see. Good job, eat another. Oh, the camera... the chow camera does not do a good job in this level. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think we can do chow camera in this... in this stage. Are you really that hungry? Not that I'm complaining, because I, I need you to eat more dark fruit. But you're making me think I starved you by accident. Don't climb on the door. What are you doing? Oh, 
I'm here. Oh, you can't swim just yet. Almost. Ste feed the starving chow. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to starve them. Grr. Grr, where'd you go? How did I lose Grr? Oh, there you are. Alright. Get out before you get a cold. That's four chow. This is the fifth one all over again. That was the wrong thing. I know you're full now, but just, just finish off that last bite. Please, just... Just one more bite. But my goodness, you were hungry. Thank you. Secret technique, double chow pet. Come on. Come on, chow camera. Two, three, four, five. Oh no. Getting stuck in another swim cycle. You having fun climbing this? Ah, no! Ah! What are you climbing? <laughs> you can't just climb thin air like that, Benry. Oh no, now who's making the swim noises? Is it you? This garden needs a little work.
I'm just fascinated by your ability to swim in place like that. Oh gosh, you can do it too. Did I give you both gorilla parts? <laughs> Got one of those pools. Got one of those pools where the current just makes the current so strong you can swim in place. Or maybe they're trying to swim back on land, but the, c the collision isn't working, so they can't do it. No, don't build it in the water! It's just gonna get washed away immediately! You silly chow. Where would the extra seeds even be placed? I don't know why I thought that was a chow. Oh god, no! No, I'm messing up the camera. No! What are you two doing? No! There's nothing up there! No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they jumped down! Oh my god! No, don't do it again! No! What is wrong with you? Away she goes. You did this. You taught her the forbidden ways. They do do what they want. Have some fruit, you crazy little chow. Have you eaten recently? Up. Oh. Grr. Get away from the door. Name your chow after chaotic characters and they become just as chaotic, I guess. You want to mate? Oh, the slopes. Alright, alright, Fenry, if you want to swim, the pool. Right there. Okay, it wasn't Benry. You're not making the sound, are you? You can't swim yet. Okay, not you. I don't know if I want you to have a child blossom. Not yet, at least. Alright, is it bruh or tootie making that, that noise? I can't tell the difference between bruh and tootie. Seriously, how hungry are you?
Oh, it's so hard to find Chow in this garden. It's too big! Yeah, I think you you can have children some other day, not today. So much love. <laughs> what counts as water and what doesn't? The game doesn't know. Chow camera, can you help me figure out where my missing Chow is? You're not doing a good job so far. Okay, that helps a bit. What are you aiming for? Is there a ch Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that answers where my missing Chow is. It fell out of the map again. These maps have issues. Plan? <laughs> it's just called Plan? Red Mushroom. At least they can't die? Yeah. I, th I think I would really freak out if my child could just fall out of the map and instant die. No, they just get stuck in an eternal swimming pool, which they're pretty fine with. Goodness, everyone's yawning. No. No, I don't want any children of your color just right now. Maybe later. Buy more chow fruit. <laughs> Love having a difficult time walking around because my character just gets stuck to, to all the collision. see how hungry you are, girl. Not very. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? You want kids too?
All right, you know what? F it. Hello there, Banjo stole my wife. Oh, what? Suddenly you don't want to mate? I've just- I've changed my mind! You two can have a kid! Go ahead. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Looks like it came out of Mono Chow. Yes, I love you too. You want to see what your baby's going to become? I guess you lost interest. Well, you got a cute face. Wow, that's messed up. You can tell them. You can- you tell them when they can, mate. <laughs> I mean, I'm the- I'm the one who has to deal with their children. You think they're gonna raise this little guy? No, it's all me! I get the final say whether then whether they can have kids or not. I don't know why you guys aren't ever born hungry. That's just wrong to me. But oh yeah, Blossom, you're apparently starving! Why are you so hungry? Yep. <laughs> they go and have kids and then they just climb into oblivion and leave their children behind. And then their children decide- their child decides to also climb into oblivion apparently, but they failed. How did you get so hungry? Yeah, it's not easy climbing when your strength stat's at zero, huh? Huh? You're trying. Where do you get this hunger from? What am I gonna name you, little ordinary monotone red chow? You said you weren't hungry earlier. You really shouldn't swim right after eating, but whatever. Let's see. I love how the child never do anything with their children. They're not very good parents. They got babied their whole lives and all they know is and all they know is how to be baby forever. Yep. What do I name you? Mm-hmm. 
looking around my room for ideas. Nothing's coming to me. What are you talking about? They definitely don't just give birth on one of Eggman's islands and leave to go draw shadow on the grass. Yeah, no. Chow totally aren't irresponsible when it comes to, to giving life. Oh, we birthed a child? Um... Yeah, let's just go wander off and draw pictures in the sand. Someone else will take care of the baby, I'm sure. Oh, you got an A in stamina. That's pretty cool. So naive. I'm still not getting any ideas of what to name... Oh, thank you for the follow, Banjo! If I can call you Banjo. What do you think, little guy? What should your name be? Yeah, I know, the ki the kindergarten is like, wow! Can I pick you back up? I can pet you. Yeah, I don't think I can pick you back up. Wait, what? What? <laughs> What's so confusing, Hunt? <laughs> How is he walking around in the school? Because mods. Also, he's not walking around, he's just... looking around. <laughs> this isn't right! Nate's losing his mind! <laughs> I put my chow down in kindergarten! <laughs> Ooh, mint! And then more chow fruit. Something I must wonder is how did Professor Chow become so intelligent? Um, probably just ate a lot of smart fruit. If you eat smart fruit, you get smart. Simple. Kirby's headphones? Oh, I want I want those. I wanna come back for those. Chow is magically back in hands. He assimilated all the chow you send away. No! <laughs> all the chow just become one super chow. Yeah, Nate, I don't like that theory. It's too grimdark. Okay, you're sleeping. Also, how did that fruit get all the way out here? Being able to kill Sundaway Chow in itself is super dark. Yeah, and the game does, like, everything it can to make sure you don't do that. It plays the super sad music and it asks you a million hundred times if you really want to send your chow away, and they make it so hard, but I can only hold so many chow in my file! Professor Chow didn't leave to draw a shadow in the grass. That must be it. 
He actually raised his kids, oh my god. I don't know if you're still hungry, but apparently you've got some big eater personality. Alright, and half my chow are- oh! That is so funny that you- that you sleep- that you spawned sleeping in that chair. Oh my god. Only you were facing the right way. Professor Chow went out for cigarettes when he was going out for cigarettes, and that was seven years ago. But, but Professor Chow is you. You can find him in the kindergarten. What? Have a fruit. Even Goku is a better parent than these guys. Oh snap! That's true, and it's sad! You know you're a bad parent when Goku does a better job than you! Oh, snap! Alright. You... Um, did you make yourself dizzy? That hat is sick? What hat? Lots of chow wearing hats, you'll have to be a bit more specific. Especially considering the latency with chat in the stream. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna guess you mean this one? Yeah, it's a cool hat. I think it might be one of the Splatoon hats? The Chow want to swim, but they can't find the pool! About Chow dying, a Japanese guidebook for Sonic Adventure says that Ch a Chow will go to heaven. Well, that's a bit nice. But the fact is, your Chow still died! The pool is everywhere! I mean, if you go outside the map, then it's true. Don't... don't go with them. I don't know if you're hungry enough to actually eat fruit now, but... I'll figure out a name for you eventually. Maybe they have to go on, a, on an adventure through the underworld to find heaven. I don't know. Maybe they just have to wait for loading times, because originally Sonic Adventure had... You know... Do you remember what the internet was like back when the Dreamcast first came out? Perpetual Chow Races for all eternity. Oh no. You want Chow to wear a Foxy Grandpa hat? If there was a mod for a Foxy Grandpa hat... You... You can... I guarantee you I would put that on one of my Chow. And now I'm sad that there isn't a Foxy Grandpa hat. Reasons to become a modder, so I can make that real. There is Dark Chow and there is Heavens. Profound. But yeah. I mean, the Dark Garden looks pretty much like hell, so... Shit, dude. Do Chow follow Christianity? Chow versus Jesus fight to get to heaven? God. Is there a Jesus Chow? What would he look like? At least you can swim now. 
Oh my god, everyone wants to swim! But they keep going to the middle! Because for some reason, the, they think the pool is here! Wait, wait, Nate. When they say Chow will eventually go to heaven, th that's how they have to do it. Like that. That's how they eventually get to heaven. <laughs> I don't think I want to see a Chow with a beard. That sounds wrong. Oh god! It's okay. He can fly. Okay. You wanna go for a swim? Here's the water. Oh, you drew a little chow. No, you gotta swim now. Where are my other chow? Here you go, you big eater. They finally stopped crying for swim time, but where did they go? I thought the Mystic Ruins Garden was the glitchiest, but now I'm starting to think this one's actually the glitchiest. Instead of taking care of little Timmy, he drew another chow. <laughs> no! When will you Chow take- take responsibility for your actions? They just put- they just push all the responsibility of caring for their children on their grandma. I raised them and then I have to raise their children too. Oh my god, they won't stop crying to go to the pool! Okay. I'm gonna name you, and then I'm gonna leave this garden for a bit because I'm going crazy listening to these chow want to go for a swim. Like, holy crap. The chow want to ride the radar. <laughs> They're certain if they climb high enough into the skybox, they will find the pool above the, above the... The freaking... Tell us... No. The, the radar. I can't say words all of a sudden. You know what? I'm just gonna call you Timmy. After that little joke someone made in chat, you're just a Timmy now. There you go. Different garden. Oh. Let's just enjoy the peace and quiet for a moment. Ooh, mint candy. And a red mushroom. Nice. Yeah, I want that. Oh, I forgot to come back for the Kirby headphones. Now I gotta wait for them to, to reappear. Someday I'll want that. I 
wish I could hold more than five things. I love how you just chucked that chow into the scene. Let's hope there won't be a FNAF chow edition. Oh no! I, I wouldn't want to see that. No, I'm not the purple man. I mean, I might like purple and I might... No! <laughs> no! Am I the purple man? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know much about FNAF, but I know that Purple Man is no good. But yeah, I kinda- I really hate how the machines are handled in Vanilla SA2. For the- Okay, it's not so bad when it's on the GameCube and the Dreamcast, but the HD versions of SA2 just- The, the transporter machines- can't transport because there's no GBA connectivity or memory cards, so the only thing you can do when you chuck your chow in there is uh, to delete them. And that's really messed up. So I'm glad the mod adds things where it's not just a chow grinder. <laughs> God, it's... Why did Sonic Team think that was okay? <laughs> it's just a chow meat grinder. You throw them in there to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's hungry. How was I supposed to know you were sleep swimming? How? Why are Chow allowed to spawn in the water? You were also sleep swimming? Are you kidding me? At least I know you aren't sleep swimming. Oh, hush. You shouldn't be sweep swimming anyway. Hush. Hush. It's okay. I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. It's fine. Oh no, they're watching the TV. Sonic Team, I have- I have a question. Why did you think the TV should just play these really awkward sounds and then just completely mute the rest of the game sounds? Go back to sleep! I remember when I would force my child to consume, I would make them eat and eat and eat even though they didn't want to. I remember when I did that to a child once and then it died. Okay, it didn't die, it reincarnated, but I, I panicked that I'd killed my chow by overstuffing it. So I decided- so that's when I decided to never do that again! TV, rattle your brains, kids. TV? Force feed like we do to terrorists. Oh no. Be a Twitch streamer instead! We are all smart by default. Yeah, totally, for sure. Have you eaten all your food? Are you, are you just eating and eating? I feel like I shouldn't have fed you. I'm pretty sure you were already full. I can't remember anymore. Oh, I thought this mint was eaten. Just calm 
calm down. I'm sorry. Why were you sleep swimming? Come on. Okay, I'm glad you're over it now. Okay, I guess you're not. Alright, I think everyone's eaten. By the way, what's your Sonic favorite Sonic voice actor? Um... I would go with Ryan Drummond, mostly just because of nostalgia. He was just the Sonic voice for me when I was a kid, and I got really upset when they replaced him with Jason Griffith. Roger Craig Smith is also a very good Sonic, but he just... He's not the same to me. Like, he's a v Roger- Roger is a very close second to me, but I'm, I'm always gonna have a special place in my heart for Ryan. He just- he made Sonic what he is to me. I still miss Ryan. God, that small spark of hope that I got when Roger said he was retiring from Sonic and a bunch of people, including me, were like, oh, Could Ryan come back then? Oh, Junichi Kanamaru? Like, if we're talking voice actors in all regions, then yeah, definitely Jun Junichi. Like, holy shit, I was thinking just American voice actors. In terms of American voice actors, Ryan's my favorite, but Junichi Kanamaru is the de, de, de facto Sonic. For, for sure. But you can't choose your favorite, but who's your favorite? Who's, who's my favorite what? You wrote Sega a letter? Somehow I doubt they read it. I was like in the sixth grade and crushed. Yeah, I, I remember when I was like... I remember when I was really little once and I tried writing a letter to Sega and of course I never got a reply. Because Sega doesn't care about your about little kids sending letters going like, Why would you do this? I just feel like throwing some chow and some races, because why not? Sega was and always will be profit-driven. You could say that about any big company, really. It's all about the money. Like, what else would they do? Favorite chow pet or who's... who these little guys are to you? Oh no, you want me to pick my favorite child? That is an impossible question. Who gave birth to the lone chow eggs at the start of the game? The world will never know. Maybe they just spawned from the ether. What came first, the chow or the egg? Nintendo marched to the best of their own drum. Oh, to the beat of their own drum. Yeah, that's what Nintendo does to for good or bad. And sometimes I like the choices Nintendo makes, but then a lot of a lot of other times it's like Nintendo sometimes just does things that are so bafflingly backwards and old school and it's like, can you guys catch up with the time sometimes? Amy gave birth to the first chow. It would make more sense if it was Tikal who did, but <laughs> no. Maybe the Chaos Emeralds gave birth to the Chow. Maybe the Chaos Emeralds are just giant crystallized Chow eggs. And that's why Chow and Chaos are so similar. Wii U trash. Yeah, the Wii U probably was their worst console if you don't count the, uh... Fuck, what was it called? The Virtual Boy. Although I think a lot of us try to forget the Virtual Boy ever happened. 
Oh man, was that a mistake. But yeah, in terms of consoles people actually care about, the Wii U is probably the worst. Wow, a shovel! They can probably, like, bury things with that! You had a Wii, Wii, Wii U and Virtual Boy? Oh shit, you actually had a Virtual Boy? Damn, the only thing I really know about the Virtual Boy is everything is red and it's a real eyesore. Although I imagine trying to get a Virtual Boy today would probably be, like, super expensive. Been listening to Spaceport from Sonic Forces today. Sonic Forces soundtrack is so hit and miss to me. Like some of the tracks I really like, and then there are other tracks where I just don't care. <laughs> Loved my Wii U for like the year that Nintendo supported it. Ha <laughs> ha. So you're saying that the Chaos Emeralds can give birth? Who is the father then? Well, obviously the Master Emerald is the father. But who says Chaos Emerald can't- I mean... We all- we all remember the ending of Sonic 06 where Sonic was fucking dead. And then Elise kisses him while surrounded by the Chaos Emeralds. Like, clearly the Chaos Emeralds are capable of giving life. So who's to say they didn't birth the Chow? And that explains the Chow's chaotic nature. This- this started out as kind of a shitposting theory, a crack theory, but... Now I'm starting to think it makes a little too much sense. <laughs> like, oh, the Chaos Emeralds made the Chow. Wait, that actually makes kind of that actually makes some sense. Holy shit! Also, you gotta go faster, Crown. You're falling behind. Get, get in front of that dude. Games games were great, but your eyes felt like they were melting out of your head. Yeah. The Virtual Boy didn't have a lot of games, but, well, there were some interesting ones there. Sonic Forces OST is a turd, but there are some great fan remixes that shine up nicely. That's cool. I have no idea if... How many races have I been, have I been putting this chow in? I have not been paying attention. Okay, I put you in the stump one. I have no idea if you actually won the stump one. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops. Sonic 06 boom win. Oh, oh, nobody wants to see th <laughs> There's no way Sonic- There's no way Sega and Sonic Team are gonna upport those games. Not ever. <laughs> They're just gonna quietly pretend those games never happened. Sometimes. I know that the emeralds give energy to all life. And they can bring the dead back to life. So... Chaos emeralds are just basically... Magic power that can... They're just deus ex machinas. They can do whatever the story wants them to. Oh, I lost the second one? Okay, I gotta go back and... Ha Thanks for paying attention to me. Thanks for paying attention for me, Savage Effect. Now I, now I know I gotta put them back in the second one. Had the first Mario Tennis, the spin they had on the original Mario, first 3D Mario Kart, Virtual Boy was sick. Sold it at a garage sale when he was in middle school. Should have kept it like a s- Yeah, you probably should have. Like, at this point, a Virtual Boy is a treasure, even if it sucks. Play the Sonic 06 fan project? Oh, is there a demo available for that? Cause... I do think Sonic 06 could have been a great game. But there's no way in hell Sonic Team is going back to fix up that game and re-release it as it should have been. They, they're they they're moving on to, to other things like Sonic Frontiers now, but I'm excited for the fans to fix up that broken mess of a game and make it actually as cool as it should have been. But yeah, if, if the fans have if the fans have a, a good playable 06 demo for their fix up, I'd be interested in playing that. Gonna shoot me a remix later by the- Oh, you follow Little Boulder too? I love that artist! I think I found them a while back when I was looking up Undertale remixes and they had a bunch of Genesis-style Undertale remixes and it's just... Holy shit, their channel is full of all these cool remixes and a lot of them were Sonic-themed and it's... 
Okay, yeah, I'm following that channel. They're awesome. There we go. Now Little Crown can plant and water trees. It's amazing how every other race seems like you need to have your stats, uh higher than 100 to succeed, but most of the chow in the beginner swimming class ca cannot swim. <laughs> Rather sad. Okay, I guess only two of them can't swim, but Tsukino only has, like, the bare minimum swi swimming stat, and she's swimming so much better than the rest. Yeah, he did a sick delta room a sick delta room one the other day. Yeah, I heard that one. And I thought about linking it to you before we started our soul link, but then I got distracted. But cool, it turns out I didn't need to do that anyway because you also follow that artist. Suddenly I'm re I'm remembering that one cursed remix they did where they took one of the Sonic Forces song and up to the pitch to chipmunk levels. <laughs> And then said, imagine this is Chow singing it. What's my favorite Nintendo system? Ooh, that's a tricky one. Like, there's definitely lots of things I like about the different consoles and various games I like about them. Like, I've got some fondness for the GameCube, but was that really my favorite console or did it just have a lot of my favorite games? And maybe this is kind of a controversial take, but I really like the Wii, too. Like, I know a lot of people didn't like the, the Wii mote and all the motion controls you had to do, but I had a lot of fun with those kind of games. The Switch is also a very good console. I wish it had better processing power, but... It is such a fun console. I love that I can take it on the go. It's got a lot of great games on it. I'm not I'm not really sure. I've never I don't think I've ever really thought about what my favorite Nintendo console is before, so I don't really know. I can't think of a good answer for that one. That is true. The Wii can also play all the GameCube games, so that kind of makes it better than the GameCube in a way. And the Wii U only goes backwards compatible with the Wii, so it can't play any GameCube games. Oh yeah, the Pokemon Coliseum games. A pair of games that Game Freak apparently is never gonna upport, despite the fact that those games totally should get an upport. They were really good! And they're so different from your standard Pokemon games in terms of story and stuff. It's like, damn it, Game Freak, bring those games back to for a modern audience to play. You know, a lot of people seem to forget about the Wii, but the Wii was like one of Nintendo's most popular consoles. Although I think a lot of the reason people tend to overlook the Wii is because it was really popular with non-gaming crowds. Like, it's, it's unconventional control method and the games they had kind of uh, drew in a lot more casuals than the PlayStation and the Xbox at the time did. And so people just kind of passed over the Wii, like, ah, it's just a stupid casual console, and even though it has all these amazing games, like Skyward Sword and Rodea the Sky Soldier. And, and you people have probably never heard of Rodea the Sky Soldier, and that's totally Kod Kodokawa Games' fault. And it makes me so mad, because that could have been, like, the, the best last game for the Wii, but Kodokawa Games fucked over Yuji Naka in that game, and that is a whole nother rant for another day. One day I hope I can stream Rodea the Sky Soldier, because more people should know about that game. 
Metacritic, New Super Mario Bros. 2, and Paper Mario Sticky Sticker Stars above Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. That makes absolutely no sense. That that is bullshit. Who could, who who was rating those games higher than than the legendary? Freaking. How could anything be better than Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? Ridiculous. Remake of Resident Evil 4 on the Wii was sick. Now you have it on VR. Nice. Wii was mostly known for the sports exercise games. I mean, they were a lot of fun. Pokin was dope. Wii U did have MU3, though. Yeah, but a lot of Monster Hunter games are available on other consoles. So, you can't really say the Wii U was good because it had this Monster Hunter game when you could also get that Monster Hunter game on a lot of other consoles. Right? Or am I wrong in Monster Hunter 3 U was a Wii U exclusive? The, the Wii had a ton of great games that they just had so many. There, Yeah, there was so many options. Like... I think my I think my library of Wii games is way bigger than my library of Wii U games. Have I put you in any races, Blossom? I don't know, but yeah, I think you should do some races. Get some of those beginner toys. You could get it on Wii U and 3DS, and that's it. Holy shit! Capcom, what the fuck? Capcom always making the questionable choices with their games. Hey, anyone remember when they canceled Mega Man Legends 3? I'll never forget that. <laughs> now I made myself sad. Monster Hunter, for whatever reason, comes out exclusively on certain consoles. For whatever reason, with new entries. Oh my god. Oh. My mom's asking me if I want food, and the answer is of course yes. I'm just gonna take a moment to pick out what I want. The people who put those above SE2 are the people pay <laughs> paid by Nintendo. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, for anyone here who's into Monster Hunter, I highly recommend checking out, uh... Oh, Nate already shouted himself out. But yeah, if you guys are into Monster Hunter, you should totally check out Hunt Hunter's channel. He streams Monster Hunter fairly regularly, so... Lots of good Monster Hunter content there. He also follows a bunch of other streamers who do Monster Hunter, so if you follow him, you will just find a ton of Monster Hunter streamers. It's great. Let's put you in another race. Me, personally, I tried to get into Monster Hunter because, like, all of my friends are super into Monster Hunter. But, after a while, the games just weren't gelling with me very well. Like, it wasn't fun for me to constantly go and beat up the same monster over and over and over again just to try and get one part. Like, I get the appeal for other people, but it just wasn't what I was looking for in a game. But everyone I know is in the Monster Hunter, so I'm the weird one out. Oh yeah. Y'all should check out the Savage Effect 2. Another great streamer in my chat. It's so easy to get distracted when I need to pick out food.
I am wrong. I mean, I'm not wrong about being... I am, I am not wrong about my taste being different from my friends. That is a fact. And it does make me the odd one out in the group, because everyone's all Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter, and I'm all like, eh, pass. <laughs> Nice. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sir Rack Attack. Munch Monster Hunter game is the best. That's not something I can answer, but you all in the chat can can pick out an answer. Can pick out your own answers. You're not that great yet. You shut up. You are a great streamer, and I'm sorry I can't catch most of your streams because you're usually streaming when I'm asleep. I feel bad about that, but you're still you are you are a great streamer. Don't let anyone else make you think otherwise, including yourself. Which Monster Hunter is the best Monster Hunter? Uh, I think it's Pokemon Arceus Legends. <laughs> no, no, it's not. As much fun as I am having with Legends Arceus, it's not as good as Monster Hunter. <laughs> not at all. You said yet? Well, I think you. I, th I think you're still pretty great, even if you think you haven't quite reached that level yet. Come on, your stats are like way higher than these guys. You can do it. Time zone between you and me got- Yeah. I feel like most of the people I see online all are from the east coast of America and I'm sitting here on the west coast where for everyone else it's midnight and for me it's like, it's just 9pm where I am. You guys, it's, it's, it's so late for you and it's still just Early evening for me, it's crazy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having different tastes from your friends, but sometimes I do feel a little sad when it's like everyone's on that Monster Hunter craze and I just have to sit back and be like, I'm happy for, all y for, for you all, I'm just gonna go over here and play my single player games, cause... I just couldn't get into Monster Hunter as as much as my friends have. It's 9 p.m. for you? Yeah, th that's what I'm saying, man. It's it's almost 6 for me. Like, the night is still so young for me, but for a lot of other people, it's getting super late. Crazy how time works. I think 2D already has all the prizes. Yeah. Well, I think we've put enough chow in races. Rice took out a good portion of the grinding. That's, that's good that it's not as grindy as some of the other Monster Hunter titles I've played, but I still can't really see myself getting back into Monster Hunter. If you have cash to spare and really want to try again, play the demo. I I hope the demo isn't pay to play. Oh, man, I, I keep forgetting to order food. I keep getting distracted by Chow and Monster Hunter. It's 2 a.m. there? Holy shit, Savage. Do you need to go to bed? Like, I'm not trying to hold you hostage here. If you just- if you just naturally stay up till 2 a.m., I- I get that, because I also tend to stay up way too late, but... Holy crap. To be honest, sometimes I stay up until, like, 5 or 7 a.m. I am- my sleep schedule's very bad. 
You put enough chow in races, but at least you raise enough chow on, like, the actual parents. It's true. I'm the only parent these chow know, and sometimes I'm their p grandparent or their great-grandparent. Like, a lot of these chow are just offspring who were abandoned by their parents who I raised. Maybe I'm the real bad parent because I can't, con I can't teach my chow to parent their own babies. <laughs> Savage, go to bed! <laughs> Yes, I do, but my mind is that I'm not tired, but when I go to bed, it's like, never mind. Also, I'm too much of a nice guy not to leave. No! <laughs> Savage, it's fine! Like, if you want to watch, you can always just pick up the- You can always just watch the VOD after the stream's over. You, you're, not, you're not being mean if you take care of yourself and go to sleep when you need it. I much more prefer people, like, be, have healthy habits. Don't be like me who stays up till 7 a.m. and watches the sunrise, because that's not healthy. You literally get up at 5.30 to work every morning? Yeah, but you also, like, you're sleeping before then? You don't stay up until 5.30? It's, it's di There's a difference between waking up then and staying up till then. Meep, are you okay? Meep has a lot to process. And you had to ruin the music by putting it on the TV, huh? What even is this show? Oh good, the show's over. Okay, now my mom should stop yelling at me for <laughs> what I want from the food. You think you gotta go while you're thinking about it? Yeah, that's cool. Talk to you later, Savage Effect. Thanks for stopping by. And you just- I hope you get plenty of rest, man. Like, go to sleep. Sleep is nice. I don't know, maybe the chow are hungry now. I could always open up my editor to see for sure. Sometimes I wonder if I should disable that TV because man, do I hate the sounds it makes. Ah, Meep is asleep. Just five hours till you have to get up? Oof. That's not a lot of time to sleep, but... I, ho I hope it's still restful for you. You're just gonna have a conversation? While, while Pia's playing their instrument? Right in your face? Ciao.
Mobile definitely doesn't show links in the chat. That's normal. Okay, that's good. Thanks for that, Nate. Nothing's wrong with the bot. It's just mobile being bad as usual. Should I get you a hat, Pia? No. I like you with just the shades. Whoops. Interference! There you go. You don't need to go in the water. The TV shows man and woman getting married, it's probably a show about life, and then they forgot to show raising kids as part of it. <laughs> Holy he shit! Grand Cross Age coming in with a raid! Thank you for the raid! Uh, for everyone joining in, I'm just a, another variety streamer on t on Twitch. Right now we're looking at, at Chow because Chow are adorable and the best. Prepare thy defenses! The order is raiding! Oh no, all I have are a bunch of baby Chow! They're not good at defending anything! They can't even take care of their own kids! <laughs> Saw me in the Chow Garden and couldn't not raid you? Yeah, right? Who, who wouldn't want to hang out with all these precious babies? <laughs> God. Oh no, the Chow are too powerful! Their cuteness! You can't handle! <laughs> Who could dare stand up to a Chow and a little floaty duck? Please raid us, the children would enjoy it! <laughs> but yeah, you all should go check out Grand Cross Age. They're in another st- Yes, double shout out for Grand Cross Age. <laughs> the order is ill prepared for such defense. I'm sorry, I'm I'm so bad at like giving shout outs and the like. There's just so much cuteness. So much But yeah, Age over here has been streaming not that long ago, and he streams like almost daily. He's got this super cool PNG. He's he's got the super cool model for his stream. It's you ended your stream with assembling your dream team for Legends Arceus. Nice. I have no idea who who would be my dream team for Legends Arceus. I just have a box full of Pokemon I think are neat that I want to train with sometimes. Uh oh. You got too dizzy chasing that ball and falling over, didn't you? <laughs> I totally would have been streaming Legends Arceus myself, but I don't got a capture card, so I got I can only stream PC games. But I think you I think you said earlier you were gonna finish you were gonna finish the story of Legends Arceus. How'd that go? Did you reach the end? I'm gonna check the hunger levels of my chow real quick. Oh my god, Meep, you are starving. Meep. Meep, I need to feed you! You have a box full of Pokemon? I have a box full of mini, mini Pokemon because I'm a dirty little hoarder. Dust the Umbreon. 
Slicer the Caesar, Darrow the Gardevoir, Cruella the Tentacruel, Children the Frostlass, and Soren the Gliscor. Man, you are so much better at naming things than I am. I have a I have a chow named Meep here. What are my names? We came for cuteness, not for war crimes. Well, where else am I supposed to put the Pokemon if not in a box? Although I guess in Legends Arceus, technically they're in pastures, not in boxes, but it's the same diff. Alright, Meeps isn't starving anymore. Two, three. Doof also wants to eat. You did not finish the main story, but kind of hit a wall in the post game, so that's why you're using using up your grit items to build the dream team. Yeah, you really need to use grit items on your on your Pokemon after a while, because eventually they just Cannot take any hits or deal any hits. Like, holy crap. It's so weird, because in most Pokemon games, you know, you build up EVs naturally by fighting. But in Legends Arceus, you have to apply the EVs manually. Oh yeah, Fuji's here. Fuji's good. They don't need any food. You want to show off your team from Sword and Shield so much you love that team? Well, then you should do it. Like... You could, you could just have a stream where you just... I don't know, you could... I don't know if you have a competitive team in Sword and Shield, but if you did, you could probably just do that for a bit. Otherwise, you could probably just wander around... Actually, you don't need to have a whole stream focused on Sword and Shield. You could just pop open the game real quick and then, like, go play a different game after you've shown it off. They're all shiny? What the f- Oh my god! A full team of st Oh my god! Dude! It's a fully EV trained team and you got coached on your friend on how to- who is super into competitive Pokemon? Damn! I remember my friends trying to teach me how to make competitive Pokemon, and when they were trying to explain Eevees and IVs to me, I'm just like, that's too much of a headache. I just want to catch the Pokemon and look at how cute they are. <laughs> but like. Yeah, if you have a if you have a full competitive team of shiny Pokemon, you should definitely show it off on stream. Put it in your thumbnail. That is that is quality clickbait material. You copied names from that team for your Arceus team because every Umbreon is always dusk, and couldn't think of a better name for Gardevoir than Dara. I mean, I can't really think of any good names for any of my Pokemon or Chow or whatever. Like, I'm the kind of person who would name an Umbreon Moony because they're associated with the moon. You made- oh hey there, Big Squeak! You made me feel so many feelings in that sentence, all shiny. Mooney is a good name. I don't know if Mooney is a good name, but Mooney is a cute name. And sometimes that's all that matters. Yeah, man, I think we were all reeling at the reveal that... that Age just has a full team of shiny Pokémon. Like, who wouldn't be jealous of that? That's so cool! Someday I'm gonna have enough shiny Pokemon in, Ar in Legends Arceus for a full shiny team. 
I'm kind of impressed at how many uh, how many shinies I've been able to find in Legends Arceus, and I don't even have the shiny charm yet. Like, just the other day, I found a shiny combi! But the combi was male, so it's worthless. I'd be more jealous of how quick I you got them. I mean... Yeah, no. Do you have a full team of shinies and it didn't take you an entire lifetime to get them? That is madness. Throwing things is fun, but I will never throw chow. Not on purpose, anyway. Hey, Tsukino, you want some new fruit? Sounds like you do. Man, the camera is just... Gets caught on so many things around here. There's another chow. Funny enough, the female shiny Saladin, which is like trying to find a, sh a shiny female Kombi. Yeah, I have a friend who is really into bug Pokemon, and he once told me about the tragic tale of trying to find a shiny female Kombi. It only took you 25 encounters? Holy shit, you were in count- You were getting shinies by finding them, not by breeding them? That's even more madness! Hatch 16 aids for the Eevee? Oh my god. I don't believe you. Were you doing it with or without the shiny charm? Are Cat and you the only mods? Uh... Yeah, that's- that is the case. I only have you two as mods because I don't really know anyone else well enough to give the mod status to. Like, it probably would help if I had some more mods, but most of the people are just kind of friends of friends at this- I don't know. Maybe being a mod's not like a super secretive thing that I need to hoard. I'm still very new to Twitch. I'm not even an affiliate. Like, I don't have anywhere near enough followers to be an affiliate yet. Oh, you did have the shiny charm? Okay, cool. If you were doing all that without the shiny charm, that, that would just be witchcraft. I have no idea who's eaten and who hasn't. Should I really make you a neutral chow? Maybe I should make you a different alignment. Oh, I'm too lazy to change it. Maybe next time you evolve. Maybe next life. one time in Sun and Moon when I stumbled upon a shiny by accident where so in Sun and Moon what's one of the things you do one of the things you can do is uh you know how Pokemon when they get in, into trouble they can call for help from another Pokemon and sometimes that's something you have to do to get certain Pokemon to spawn oh you're heading off to bed Nate Good night! Hope you sleep well! How dare you shout me out of my own channel! <laughs> yeah, thankfully... Chow Gardens, like, aren't super intense, so if I need to shout someone, someone out, I can do that myself just fine. Not the case for other games where I would need the help, but... I'll be fine, Nate. You can, you can sleep easy.
The Sword and Shield Pokédex is pretty easy to complete. Like, they, they give you a lot of easy ways to access the Pokémon, and you don't really... You don't necessarily need to, like, trade with other people, but if you do, it's... Okay, the GTS isn't in the Sword and Shield, but you can always jump into to random raids to sometimes get the Pokémon that you don't have normally. Oh yeah, Sun and Moon. So... How do they make the Shiny Charm? Who knows. Sun and Moon, um... Uh-oh. Who's evolving? All the way over there?! So, so I was in one area trying to farm Pokemon. I was- I think I was trying to get a Politoed to spawn because Cerebi said, Oh, if you, um, make enough Pokemon cry out, eventually a Politoed will come in to help. And that's like, cool, that sounds like a great way to avoid doing the stupid King's Rock trade to get a Politoed. And I'm just sitting there farming Meowths because Cerebi didn't specify which Pokemon had to be calling for help. I, I assumed any Pokemon could do it, and after hours and hours and hours of fighting Meowths, eventually a freaking shiny Meowth spawned. And I was... And I decided, okay, I'm ending, I'm ending the chain here, so I'm just gonna catch that Meowth, and then probably go find a Poliwag to fight instead, because there was just no Politoed spawning, and why, why would I want anything else when there's a shiny Meowth there? A shiny Alolan Meowth, obviously, but... It was such a cool color. It was like a dark blue. It was nice. I wasn't trying to farm shinies, I just got that by accident when looking for a different Pokemon. Do you make these mods or other people? Oh, these mods are all made by someone else. I found I found them on a website called Game Banana. You can't just jump in and out of the map like that, Skittle. Come on. But yeah, um, I can post a link real quick. I found all the mods I use for the game at this website here. Skittle, be careful where you, where you know clip. You might end up in the back rooms. You missed it, H, but earlier we did see Chow clip out of the map, and they fell to the very bottom where there's just apparently an endless pool, and when they feel like it, they can just swim back into the map. It's crazy. Have I heard of that creepypasta? No, I don't tend to follow a lot of creepypastas. I know about some of the really popular ones, like Ben Drowned and Sonic EXE, but... Normally, I, I don't... No, I don't really know much about any other creepypastas. Skittle can jump in and out of in reality when he wants. Tis true. Man, if I did make mods... Oh man, the, the shit I would make. I don't know what I would make, but... I feel like I'd be able to make anything. Not a horror person? Oh yes, I am not a horror person. I, I scare easily. I'm very squeamish. Like, if you want to talk horror, my sister's the one you would go to. Speaking of, my sister is also a streamer. I- <laughs> whoops! I messed up her name! I got it backwards. <laughs> and she last was seen streaming Bloodborne, because unlike me, she likes scary games. She streamed Resident Evil, she has streamed the, the Dark Souls games. Yeah, she she definitely pref she's way less fearful. <laughs> I did see your tweet about the Titanic documentary. One of the reasons I liked it was so I could watch it later. Because at the time, I didn't really have the time to sit down and watch a video, but... 
I did want to get to that later because it sounded interesting. I should check if my chow are hungry. Some of them, yeah. It's a long watch, but it watches more like a movie than a documentary. Ooh. That does sound cool. A stream idea is where we choose the dumbest mods to add to the chow garden. That would sound like a fun thing to do, but there's not really... I don't feel like there's a lot of fun, dumb mods to add to the chow garden. Like, I've got most of the biggest mods right now for the Chow Garden. There's not really... It's not like, oh, this mod turns your Chow into a bunch of tiny Wario's. Which would be crazy, but... If I'm wrong and you do find some dumb fun mods, I, could, I would consider installing them, because that does sound like it'd be a fun time. That documentary actually had me near the point of crying, and when it did, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Sonic Adventure 2, the gun mods. Also, hi, Star Inc. You mean there's no Mr. Krabs Chow mod? I know, right? What a waste! How could they not have a Mr. Chow Krabs mod? Sonic Adventure 2, the gun mods. <laughs> I mean, Eggman and Tails do have guns on their mechs. So it's not that- that's not- that's not too far off from being a reality, I guess. There was that time in, in the story of Sonic Adventure 2 where Eggman pointed a gun at Amy's head. Imagine a mod that, that lets Eggman use that in the regular game. That'd be crazy. God, you guys just devoured all the chow fruit I brought. I thought I had so much and now it's all gone. There is a fun randomizer mod for Sonic Adventure 2 that I streamed a while back. And I would not be opposed to doing another Sonic Adventure 2 rando because that's just chaotic fun. Alright. That's four chow. Ah. There you are, Sakino. Always disappearing on me. Such hungry babies. You found a mod where it puts Spongebob characters over the main playable characters? Oh wait, no, that's- that says it's a request. So that's someone who- That's someone who wants Spongebob characters over- ch over Sonic Adventure 2 characters, but it probably hasn't been completed yet. Yeah, that's one of the confusing things about Game Banana, is requests and mods are just kind of together sometimes. There is at least one mod that puts in Sonic with soap sh that puts SpongeBob with soap shoes in the game. So there's that.
God, a, a Squidward mod would be amazing. It just loves swimming in circles there. There is apparently a mod that puts Woody the Pooh in the game. That sounds pretty funny. Sonic, so Sonic Adventure 2 does have a lot of silly mods for the main core of the game, but when it comes to just the Chow content, there's not really a lot of funny stuff there. I can put funny hats on my Chow, like the Chef hat or Kirby and Splatoon hats, but... There's also Mario hats, now that I think about it. But yeah, nothing like super out there, like turning all the chow into, into Squidward. That's probably a bit too complex for people. Wario over Knuckles? I have seen that in action when I played the Sonic Adventure 2 Rando. It it looks so janky, It's it's amazing. Like, he keeps clipping into himself. It's... it's frightening. But that's how Wario should be. It's frightening. <laughs> there's also Mario... there's also other Mario characters. Like, I think someone has a Mario 64 model specifically you can put in the game. Like, the best random chaos the, the best way to play Sonic Adventure 2 if you're going to have randomness is literally just to play SA2 Rando. Which, now that I'm talking about it, man, do I want to do that again. It randomizes the stages, it randomizes who's playable in the stages, it randomizes the character models and the dialogue lines. It's so funny. Randomizers are the best things that people have ever created. I need to stream more randomizers. I wish there were more randomizers for Sonic games, but I can understand why there's not a lot. There's... what can you really do in Sonic games to randomize them and have them be silly fun? There's... what can you do in a lot of plat platformers to randomize them? There's... it's not really a lot. I can understand all the Zelda randomizers. There's a lot of potential for hilarity and challenge when you randomize Zelda games, but... It's cool they were able to figure out how to randomize Sonic Adventure 2. Another Sonic game I think could have some potential for randomized fun is Shadow the Hedgehog. You know, that, that mess of an edgy hardcore game that Sonic Team made ages ago. I think that I think that game has some potential for some randomization fun. You randomize where the stages go, you randomize the endings and the missions and give Shadow different modded weapons and character models. It I think it could be really funny. And damn, I wish I was a modder so I could start working on that project, but <laughs> I I don't know anything about modding. God, the Chow just loves swimming in this in this one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go there, please. Don't go. Don't go where I can't reach you.
Away they go! Wow. They actually landed in the tunnel for a second. Well, that's funny how the camera can clip back in, but it can't clip back out. Also, Sakino came back in. I just wanted to try putting the camera over to Mark, but could can't reach him. You just posted your team for Sword and Shield in your Discord in the Screenshots channel? Oh, I'm gonna go look at that right away. <laughs> Backup camera. Reality means nothing to these chow. They are all omniscient. Screenshots. Oh my god, they look so cool. Like, not only do you have a cool team of Pokemon, but you also picked Pokemon that actually have cool shinies. Oh my god. Okay, the the Kumo that's that's kind of a that's kind of a bad body color for Kumo, but it's still cooler than a lot of other shinies I've seen with that kind of coloring. And of course, all their Dynamax levels are maxed out. Shit, they look so cool. I am jealous. I am 100% jealous. Of your awesome Pokemon team. Oh hey, Mark's back. I have a feeling that you need food, Mark. They are your babies and you love them. I would love them too if I had Pokemon that cool. Wario gave birth to the Chow Eggs. That is forbidden knowledge that no one is allowed to, to know. That's the, that's the secret deep lore that Sonic Team doesn't want you to know. They were a great team before the DLC for Sword and Shield. And now they're even better? Because you could, like, max out their Dynamax and stuff. Now they get bodied by all the legendaries? Yeah. Regular Pokemon can't normally compete with legendaries. That's part of what makes them legendary. That's why you don't take them into ranked battles anymore. Man, I would have thought most legendaries would be banned from ranked battles because of their stats. Oh, Mark's finally evolving. I mean, isn't... You think that... You, you would think that legendaries would be banned because, man, is it unfair if you go up against a bunch of Mewtwo's or something. Fully legal. That's just not fair. Crown. Crown, what are you doing? Crown! I can't get you out of there, Crown! Why are you flying into the, the 
the wall like that. I mean, I probably could get them out of there if I jumped on them, but I don't want to hurt my baby. But yeah, that sucks that they just let legendary Pokemon just be in ranked. Oh my god, Mark. I was not expecting you to turn green. Wow. Like... This is literally throwing me off. You're a sh you're a two-tone sky blue, and you came out green? What? Well, now you don't look like a normal chow anymore, at least. Why are you green? Why are you green? What is this? How did my sky blue chow turn green? Chow colors are amazing. God, you gotta imagine at this point in Sword and Shield's life t lifespan that I, I just bet there are people who <sighs> words are failing me right now. But I imagine if you pl if you tried doing ranked in a lot of older Pokemon games at this point, you're probably just gonna run into a bunch of hacked Pokemon. I remember my sister was replaying one of the 3DS Pokemon games. It might have been a uh, Sun, and she was just randomly trading Pokemon in the Wonder Trade, and she was just getting a ton of hacked shiny Pokemon that were that were had names like "Go to this address to get more hacked shiny Pokemon." I'm gonna turn green and nobody can stop me. That is true. They turn green when they're blue. They climb out of the wall and swim in the endless sea below. They fly into into a corner and will not stop flying ever. These these chow just do whatever they want. Like that. You're doing it again. Although part of it is probably just the deep, the the deep, the Sonic Adventure DX Gardens are just really buggy because these Chow aren't supposed to be in the DX Gardens. They're supposed to be in the Adventure Two Gardens. Where the, where is Crown? Oh my God! How? How are you inside this thing? God damn it! You chow are driving me crazy! Damn it, crowned! Just sleeping inside the dirt? Inside a friggin' hill rock thing? Ah, uh, right. No. F None of this chow fruit that I like. I came here just so you can see the Chow being extra- Benry. Benry. 
Fenry, do that thing you always do, where you, where you climb into oblivion. Actually, what if there's already some chow doing that? Yep, there's already some chow doing that. So if you thought the chow in the Mystic Ruins Garden were crazy, well... The chow have exceeded their dimensional planes. <laughs> it's wiggling! He's wiggling while he climbs! Uh. Okay, I think I saw three chower up there, actually. Ah! I have to order my groceries online and Walmart finally ch had cheese dip. And you were like two jars of it because they always run out. Nice. I often have that trouble when ordering from Walmart. It's like, hey Walmart, can I have this thing? No, you can't. We don't have it. Okay, do you have it now? No. Got a stockpile so you can have cheese dip with your chi with your chips. Yeah. Always gotta have the right kind of dip with your chips. Just makes them better. Oh no, Gur and Benry are having a chat. What chaos are they brewing? Well, at least you're being calm, Timmy. Unlike the child that just climbed to the sky to never be seen again. No. No. Reminds me of, are you Squidward now? Not sure if I remember that Spongebob thing, unless it's from one of the newer episodes. Like, I remember the episode where Spongebob and Patrick put on fake noses and pretended they were Squidward, but I don't remember them specifically saying, oh wait, no, maybe they did say a line like that. Am I Squidward now? Hmm, no, wait! Puts on fake nose. I'm Squidward! You're Squidward! You're Squidward! She's Squidward! I'm Squidward! Is there any other Squidwards I should know about? I don't know why I said she's Squidward. Early SpongeBob was just so great for so funny. You're thinking of opposite day. So if the opposite of Squidward is Spongebob, then I must be Squidward! <laughs> Everything worked out wrong for Squidward. I hate coming to this garden because the Chow wants to swim, but they can't figure out where the swimming pool is. So they just make the I want to swim sound for all for ever and ever. There's just there's just a chow shadow. Just standing there. Okay, game. Help me figure out- Oh my god, there's the chow inside! How did they get inside? Well, I guess that explains why they keep making those sounds. Are you Squidward now? Can't- Oh! 
Oh, Squidville! That's right, the episode where Squidward actually moved away and went to a, a town full of Squidwards. And Patrick was asking, are you Squidward now? Are you Squidward now? <laughs> I remember now. I love how there's a giant nuke there. It was made to take out the Chow who climbed to the heavens. But it failed. Because nothing can stop the Chow when they really want to go. Oh, Eggman, this is not how you raise Chow. This is not good for the Chow. Or, Eggman was trying to stop the Chow because they're the only thing that could end his reign of terror. But nothing can stop the Chow. I love how this- Oh, well, I already read that message. Alright. You guys are all driving me crazy with the Chow noises. Ciao! <laughs> yes, I made a dumb pun. I made a pun that I'm sure no one else in the Sonic fandom has ever made before. I want to bring this food for the Chow in the, in the Eggman garden, but I don't know how I'm actually going to be able to feed any of them when they keep getting stuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to feed them when I turn off the DX gardens, because the DX gardens are not working. That's the fire hydrant. Are you Squidward? That's okay, take your time. <laughs> pixel art game you've been looking forward to just got a release date nice it's coming out in a month oh i hope your wallet's ready on anno mutant mutant mutinadium i can't i do not know how to say that word So what kind of game is it? Is it a roguelike? Is it a platformer? RPG? Mutation M? Yeah, I guess I should have figured that's how it's pronounced. I'm guessing it's some kind of strategy game. Like, the mutation part makes me think it's a game where you have different customizable body parts for different kinds of powers. It's a 2D, 3D action-adventure RPG. Well, that does sound like an awesome combo. Are you sleeping? You're not sleeping! Yay! Whew. Man. The adventure gardens were a fun idea to visit for a time, but am I not happy with how glitchy they are? And Anumu girls? Well, that could go either way for me. Like, I am not very invested in, in looking at pretty girls, but that's just me. Maybe they're really... It's tasteful? That's good to hear. I gotta be- I gotta be honest, when you say anime girls, I got worried and thought, Oh, is it one of those big bouncy booby games? Cause that happens a lot. That's good to hear that it's not- that it's not full of, uh, lewdness. Fluidness, that's not a word. I just wanted to sound fanciful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, all the chow are accounted for. 
You're all accounted for. This is honestly the most stable garden of all the three, because it's just... It's just nice and flat. Not a lot of places for the chow to get stuck in. You still need to get Baba as you. Oh, my sister got that game. And I got to try it out through her library. It's a really interesting puzzle game. Like, that's, that's super unique for... But I also, like, got trapped it, got stuck in that game, like, really early on. I am bad at puzzles, apparently. I wish there was a mod where you raise Perry the Platypus. Holy shit, that'd be adorable. And then, and then I put a fedora on... Uh, I, I show you a platypus, and you go like, A platypus? And then I put the fedora on the platypus, and it's like, Perry the platypus! Because I think there is a fedora in one of my hat mods. That'd be great. If it's not raising Perry, then... <laughs> that would be neat to have it, to at least have a Perry animal. To have a platypus animal. I need more animal mods in my chow games. Baba is... Oh. Well, if Baba is all, that sounds like the game just crashes then. That's too much Baba. That's too much Baba. Are you getting close to evolving again, Pia? Pia here is on their second life. They're one of my oldest chow. Let me raise Gojira. God, there's so much potential for changing chow models to look like other things. Oh, I thought I thought Pia was going to evolve. Who is evolving then? Oh, Fuji! Fuji's going to be all grown up! Silly doof. That chow is your favorite chow? All chow are my favorite chow. I don't pick fit I don't pick favorites. At least not when my chow can hear. Timmy is a good chow. <laughs> Timmy didn't ask to be birthed into life and then quickly abandoned by his parents. He just is. <laughs> exactly, you were supposed to ask which chow. You got me. Which chow's your favorite? I'll never know, cause they're all they're they're all good. Donkey Kong Chow mod. Okay, imagine a chow. Um, imagine a mod where it turns all your chow into mini Mario's. What if you just raised a bunch of Mario's? You just you're just playing a Sonic. And you go and raise a bunch of baby Marios. Someone do that. Turn all the chow into mini Marios. It would look so wrong. Hungry, weren't you, Fuji? And Meeps is also hungry, but I think Meep is always hungry. You know, there's no Donkey Kong Chow mod, but there are gorillas you can you can give your Chow to make them look more monkey-ish. Although sometimes it also gives them big monkey ears that look really bad. Some of my Chow in the Dark Garden have gorilla parts on them. Aww, you draw in some pretty flowers? I'm doing this wrong. Yeah. For the Donkey Kong mod, you want it to be just a JPEG of Donkey Kong moving around? <laughs> oh my god. How hard would that be to replace all these 3D models with just a JPEG? 
Rajon? Oh god, Rajon. Oh, that would be terrifying. Although now you're giving me ideas, like... If I gave a Chow... Can I make a Chow look like a Rajon? Ooh. Oh, that sounds like an interesting thing to try and breed. Give me ideas, chat. You want a Gormagala to raise? Man, maybe I would maybe I would jump back into Monster Hunter if they if they if Monster Hunter was more like a chow garden and I could just raise little baby monsters. Where's my Monster Hunter Rancher Capcom? Let me be a, let me be a cute chibi hunter who just raises the monsters into killers that will eventually be killed by hunters someday. Just somersaulting away from that conversation. Oh, meep. I don't put chow parts on my. I don't put. <laughs> chow parts. I meant I don't put animal parts on my chow very often, but I do try to make them look fun when I do. Like meep here, who's just got a bunch of sheep and penguin parts. A mob where every chow is shadow and he constantly says damn when he does anything. Oh god, the cursing. You'd have to up the rating in the game for all the times they say damn. While there, while there might not be a mod to turn, to turn chow into shadow, there are shadow chow that you can get in the game. At least you can make them look kind of shadow-ish. Rascal here is technically on her way to being a, a shadow chow, but it's harder to tell because of her coloring, because you can't see the highlights. Hey, Pia. Why you, why you just sitting there? Silly chow. Let's see... Yeah. Tootie here is technically kind of a shadow chow. You can see the um, head spikes and the highlights. Although I took them away from the shadow chow path, so... Eventually you can get a chow that, that is that has a black coat and red highlights. If you raise them the right way. A Chow mod where the Chow raised the main characters. Okay, it's not exactly what you're talking about, but it did remind me that there is a playable Chow mod someone made recently, which turns all the main characters into Chow, and someday I'm going to stream that because that sounds amazing. But also that means I could go into the Chow Garden as a Chow and raise Chow as a Chow, Chow Madness, double the chow, triple the chow, everything's chow! But yeah, there's a playable chow mod. I don't know why I came back to the black market. Maybe I just needed to hear something a bit different. One of the problems with Sonic Adventure, with Sonic Adventure DX, is all the Chow Gardens have the same Chow music, as opposed to two where they vary the Chow theme. Hey Pia, 
When are you going to evolve again? But yeah, I guess the reason why you don't see a lot of Chow mods or any Chow mods that replace the Chow with different models is none of, no one in the Chow community must have an interest in that. Instead, they just want to find ways to make raising Chow more interesting and unique. But no one ever thinks, what if we made the Chow sillier and funnier? What if we were just raising a bunch of Marios and Warios? What if some of them were Luigi and Waluigi? What if they were all Waluigi and they just had long, gangly limbs and they're taller than your character? What if Chow, but something else? I don't know why it's not done more often, but maybe it should be. I say that, but I have no idea what it takes to mod Chow in this game. Maybe it's super hard and that's why people don't make a lot of silly mods. Maybe there's just not a lot of interest because people's time are limited when you have to do stuff for free. A mod where Wario is a Chow and in the races he uses fart rockets. Oh my god. Every time you hit this, every time you hit A to mash to give him a boost of stamina, he just does a fart cloud instead. Boosts himself with farts. Everyone's going for a swim now. I forgot to save my Chow data. It's been too long. Replace all monsters in Monster Hunter with Chow. <gasps> no! No, then you'd have to go and, and hurt the Chow! No! That would be the evilest mod! Do not slay the Chow! They are our friends and our babies! Babies like this dead coconut! Ugh! Okay, they're not babies like the dead coconut, but Chow! Chow are my precious little babies! I wouldn't want to hurt them! There's no- there will be no Chow abuse in my streams. Who would ha- how- how could you possibly want to hurt this face? How could you want to slay this? Look at them! Look at them! You can't hurt baby! They're baby! This... This is a baby! With a broken mouth! He is doof! Meep. <laughs> you don't want to hurt the Chow, but doing that will, will unlock Mario- Wario, so we must? No, we mustn't. No amount of Wario is worth hurting these babies with their silly faces who are just right in the camera because that's where I put them. You talk about unlocking Wario, but I would much rather unlock the Luigi, which requires you to perfect all Chow stats in 10 minutes or less, 
without taking a potty break in the middle of summer. And that is how you unlock the Luigi. Looks at Chow, you're awfully cute. Unfortunately, you're made of materials I need for my weapons and armor. No! Thom... Thomrom... Thom... Maru... Pum... Marump... Pie... Karumpus at school said slain Chow unlocks Wario. Well, that's why no one's ever unlocked a Wario in this game, because who nobody can stand to hurt Chow. I will only slay Chow who abandoned children. <laughs> no! What about Guiji? I'm afraid this game came out before Guiji was a thing, so you have to you have to mod Guiji in. So sad. What to unlock Guiji? You do nothing. <laughs> I mean, what could be more Luigi than doing nothing to win? That is how you unlock the Luigi. You have to do a chow race and then do nothing and still win. You know what? Since we've been talking about beating up Chow, what if we watch Chow just beat each other up? Okay, Pia, I'm curious how far you can go now that you're baby again. <laughs> oh snap, my food's here. Oh! Pia's too baby for this! Oh no, Pia's way too baby for this. Oh no! <laughs> Pia used to be my ultimate chow, but then they reincarnated and all their stats just went down the drain. Oh, you can only do super if the chow is being an expert, huh? Or, I guess, beaten all three previous ones. Okay. That's cool to know. You guys wanted Chow fights? Here are your Chow fi- Okay, I guess you didn't want Chow fights, you wanted to slay Chow. But... I don't allow that. We're just gonna watch Chow beat each other up instead. Except none of my Chow are good enough for these high-ranking matches, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. Yikes. I guess Chow Karate needs a lot more stats than... Well, at least the expert one. Chow Fight Club. Yeah, that's basically what this is. You go into a cave, you talk to Oba Chow, and just say, Hey, where do I go to the baby fights? The good boys and girls will be spared. The Chow who abandon their children are bad people who do bad things. But that's all Chow! Oh no! If Pia can't wait- th if Pia can't beat the big boy fights, then Pia's just gonna win in the baby fights. Oh, that was a fierce kick! Pia has had a lot of children that I have- <laughs> Pia's abandoned many children. Pia's not a good parent. And now here's Pia beating up a bunch of other orphan children. 
not all Chow. Well, maybe the Chow who haven't bred yet aren't awful parents, but inevitably any Chow who becomes a parent will abandon their child. That is the Chow way. Chow are left to fend for themselves. It's only by our merciless- our- our- it's only by our kind intervention that Chow survive at all. Man, Pia's really good at kicking babies. <laughs> Pia, the baby slayer. These Chow can't even walk and Pia just comes in and kicks him in the face. Pia, you're so ruthless. Oh! That Chow hasn't even finished hatching, Pia! They've still got part of their egg on them! <gasps> the baby dodged! <laughs> You're also good at kicking babies? Well, that's not something I would necessarily brag about. <laughs> The only baby here who can walk like Pia. Come on, Pia, you can dodge. Come on, one more hit. <gasps> no! I meant you hit the other one! Behold, Pia is the master of kicking babies. The grand champion of kicking babies. How does it feel to be a baby kicker, Pia? Oh, <laughs> they have to draw their, their victims now. I beat up the babies good, they said. Chow for Smash? I wish. They only get to be spirits in Smash. They won't let anyone but Sonic be in Smash. It's not fair. God, Meep, why are you always hungry? Fuji needs some food. How about you, doof? Are you hungry? Yes, you are hungry. And speaking of being hungry, I gotta go and get my dinner soon. And I've been streaming for about three hours, so... Oh, cool. Dinner got delivered to me. <laughs> But I am getting pretty tired. It's always f Not fair, go talk to Waluigi about fair. <laughs> oh god. Waluigi, that, that poor man will never be invited into Smash proper. That is Sakurai's decree. 
He's been an assist trophy for for too long. He doesn't even get to appear in any non-spin-off Mario games. He's only invited to the sports and nothing else. But yeah. I've been streaming for three hours. My food's here now. So I'm thinking about ending the stream soon. And by soon I mean like practically right now. <laughs> Did the camera move the ball? Oh my god. But yeah, it's been a fun time. But all th all good things must must come to an end eventually. Well, I've got one person I follow who's online right now. Although she's playing Back for Blood, which is kind of an extreme shift from from. Chow to go to an action game, maybe. Night, everyone. Catch you all next time. Yeah, good night, big squeak. Well, maybe it's maybe going over to someone playing Back for Blood is a is kind of a, a big tonal shift, but we were talking about beating up Chow for quite some time, so... Maybe it's not that... that weird. Anyway... Hope you all have fun over on... S. Luna and R's channel. I've never been entirely sure how to say her name. Sometimes I just call her Luna, but... Yeah, it's been fun. If you want more Chow content, I tend to stream them every Wednesday or so. Like, every other Wednesday. Don't you hate it when people say Chow Garden is the only good part of SA2? Yeah, that is totally a lie. SA2 as a whole is a really fun game. The Chow Gardens are, like, my favorite part, but they're not the only good part. The action stages are fun, the characters are fun. The dialogue's a lot of- it's- SA2 is a good game! There's a reason a lot of people like it, and it's not just because of the Chow Garden. But yeah. I- I am tired. I want to eat food. And I also need to stop talking, because I've been talking for a while and my voice is starting to get a little sore. But I'm sure you all have a good time over at Luna's channel. I hope you're all as nice to her as you've been to me. And I hope I'll see you all again sometime. Goodbye, Chow fans!